In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your custom URL or link for your Facebook business page. Now, if you have a Facebook business page and you haven't requested your custom URL, you probably have a big long link to your page similar to this one, where it has your page name incorporated in it, then a big long number. Now, you can request a shorter, unique, custom URL similar to this one. Now, in order to do this, you typically need to have 25 page likes minimum before Facebook will allow you to do this. Now, Facebook tests things all the time. Sometimes they will allow brand new pages to have these custom URL links before you get 25 page likes. So if you wanna see if you're eligible, here's how you do it. On your business page, go down in the left column of pages, assuming you are looking at this from a desktop or laptop, and click the About link. When you do that, you'll see this section here in the middle called General, and the custom URL is your username, okay? Now, do not mistake this with your page name, which is here. These are different, they are independent, they can be the same if you want them to be, and if that username is available, but they are completely separate. Okay, your page name is very important to your page, because that's the title of what your page is all about, and your username or your URL really is not important to the overall growth and health of your business page. However, it's nice to have a custom username URL, especially if you use this link a lot on business cards or print materials over to your business page. Now, if you wanna edit this, just go over and click edit. Yes, Facebook puts this little at sign in there. That's for people who are searching for your custom username which for most businesses that does not happen much at all. So don't worry so much about the at sign here. What you're really trying to do is find something to end your link. So facebook.com slash whatever you want. Now these are exclusive. These can only be used one time by one person on one page. So you have to check to see if these are available. So you simply start by typing in what you want and it will tell you whether or not it's available. Okay, just trying out at one here, Fabulous Philadelphia Homes, and this check over here to the right tells me it's available. So I could choose and create that username if I wanted. Now, when you're setting up, here's what I recommend. Use a capital letter for each of the first letters of each word in your username. That way, it helps set off those words and breaks it up for people to read easier. Now, just know when people are going to your page, these are not case specific, so they could type it all in lowercase or uppercase or combination, and it will still take them to the same place. So all you have to do at this point, once you have one available that you want, is click Create Username. That's it. Once you've done that, you will have a nice, short, compact username. Obviously, I did not go through the entire changing process. I still have my original custom username, which was Amazing Philly Homes in this case. Now, one other point, if you want to shorten this up even further to put on your business cards or something, you can make your link as short as fb.com slash your username. So that makes it super simple to put on business cards, on print materials, or anywhere else you want to post that link. That's as short as you can get your business page link. I hope this video helped you set up your custom username so your link is a little shorter, a little clearer, and a little more effective.